This is the newer G-Shock DW5600EX, a sport solar square proposed by the brand, part of the G-Squad series with an original G-Shock design but equipped with heart rate monitor and accelerometer. Tested and revealed by myself, this is a sport watch rather than a smartwatch, so perfect excuse to buy another G-Shock. The first question that doesn't let me sleep at night is the following. Is this horology or a gadget? Is the newer G-Shock Smart Square a gadget which gets outdated in a couple of years like an Apple Watch? Or it's just a solid G-Shock that never lets you down? And today I'm doing a tech review or a classic wristwatch review. My impression is that it can be both. It just depends how you want to use it. You'll see in a few minutes why. This new G-Shock Squad was launched this month in a few versions, so I couldn't decide if I want a polished bezel version or the matted resin one. But because I like to dress up my watches, I bought the limited edition version, which comes with a blueprint-ish quirky design, which comes with an extra skin which highlights a digital colored motif on the case. But besides the interesting patterns, the watch does exactly the same thing as the $300 model. I just liked the ability to change the cases but also those cool patterns. As packaging, the watch comes on a cardboard box, not very solid, but the design and the pattern is cool because it reflects the motif of both watch cases, the blueprint but also the Anadigi one, pretty cool. Inside we have the watch, the extra case, and if we remove the first layer we can find the charging dongle and a lot of manuals and guidance. Quite a lot of small pieces of paper in Japanese with QR codes, which will redirect you to translated Japanese websites. No worries, I will tell you how to connect and which app you have to get. And I bet you're curious as well to understand how it feels size-wise compared to a regular square. Well, it's bigger, but not closer to the king square. Mainly if the diameter of a regular square has 43mm, this one has 44.5mm with the same interchangeable straps. The only major difference is actually here, the height. If the regular square has around 13mm, this one has 15mm in height. Because the bigger case had to fit the newer smart module powered by Polar. But we will get back to this in a second. Quality-wise, the watch is very good. I had the chance to test a wider range of squares from $100 to $5,000. And this heart rate model is well positioned from the quality perspective. It is true this is more of a quirky model due to the skins and because it's a limited edition but still feeling and features-wise, it feels like a G-Shock at around $350 or $500 tier range with or without the extra case. As an X-Factor, they advertised the H5600 as being made from recycled materials, both the carbon core and the resin outer case. The finishings of the G-Shocks in general are getting better and better, and in this case they propose two types of outer cases, which is the resin matted one with a classic bezel, but also a premium version with a flat metallic bezel and a resin case, the second version being more reflective. I think the straps are very good, they are very comfortable and flexible compared to the entry mid-tier square straps. Also the display is really really good. I like the contrast provided by the crystals of the display, because it becomes pretty reflective and very legible in low light conditions without using the backlight. So no reasons to complain about the lack of contrast on the negative display. We can spot that there is a huge difference between this smart square and the negative 5610 model. The display is full so the graphic of the watch spreads and can make animations or display full text. And then the tracking system and the heart rate module is powered by the Polar technology. Polar is a well-known brand which makes such sport watches for ages and researching a bit, I found that their heart rate tracking system is very good, especially the chest device. So from my perspective, the heart rate accuracy can be trusted. However, based on my experience with smart and sport watches, the value of them does not necessarily consist in the gadgets themselves, but on the mobile application and the way they collect the data or overlap metrics from the same event in order to give you relevant data about your activity. And here Garmin is the daddy that I can assure you. It took a while to figure out which of the multiple apps from the store works with this square, because they advertise the watch working with the G-Shop Move Up, but this model is not supported by the Move Up. In reality the watch can be paired and you can browse the data collected of the watch with the Casio Watches app. 
The regular app that allows pairing the vast majority of the G-Shocks excepting the MRG models. So good to know from the beginning. After pairing and the usage of the activities, on my page selection you will find a breakdown per days with your activities like a life log or a timeline. As capabilities, the watch can provide to the app running index, cardio loads, energy sources, cardio load status, life log, nightly recharge and activity log. Getting into capabilities and features, this model is solar but it comes with a charging dongle as well. So it can be used in multiple ways, for example, like a regular G-Shock. There are actually three dedicated faces for this model, one which reflects a regular G-Shock, one with the same layout but with an activity heart rate indicator and another watch face for steps, which has a gunt which highlights 7 days per week. So this addresses the first curiosity of the day, it can be worn as a gadget with all the capabilities enabled, but also like a regular G-Shock without the heart rate features or the constant peering to the phone. In terms of sport modes, there is a list of predefined activities. In fact, let me show you. Now checking the post-workouts features, I've been testing the watch for a week and I've made some different activities. Some of them are not specific for me, like running, but a welcomed exercise because I have to lose more fat from the body. After each activity and after a while, all you have to do is get inside the app, sync with the watch and collect the data you've gathered. Although the app doesn't look good at the beginning, the mobile application will provide you more and more relevant data if you wear the watch. You will receive data compared to patterns or even recommendations and if you have the passion to understand each metric, what it means and why is important, you can really challenge and improve yourself day by day, more steps, more cardio or more intense trainings. And I'd say the application provides more than enough for a basic level. All you need to understand is the user experience provided within the page, to understand the charts or the data provided in numbers. In terms of autonomy, when I picked up the watch, I did exactly as an excited person would do. I activated everything, heart rate, notifications, increased the backlight time, I wanted the full experience to get the all-inclusive treatment. So what happens if you do this? Well, weather forecast notifications each hour, constant mobile device connected notifications, message notifications, eBay notifications that I lost an auction, I guarantee that you'll be bombarded with useless system notifications from the phone. Yup, it depends I assume what phone you have. But the point is, the battery fills to drain slowly. I received the watch with 3 out of 4 lines and after 3 days I had 1 out of 4. It's true the watch hasn't been exposed so much to strong light. Fully charged with moderate usage and activities, the watch will get from full battery to 3 out of 4 lines in about 2 days. Meaning that in this rhythm, you'll drain the battery of the watch without having the chance to keep it charged from the solar energy. I guess without permanent heart rate with notifications off and exposed constantly to the light, the watch can remain charged without being needed to be charged manually. So this can be worn as a normal G-Shock with regular features, but I don't think that's the point of the smart square. Now addressing the elephant in the room, we understand that the watch is pretty accurate heart rate wise, but feeding into the height problem. Besides the 15mm height, the module is extended on the bottom case with the optical sensors, which obviously makes it taller and makes the watch to pop more on the wrist. And although the strap is very comfortable, it puts pressure on the sides of the wrist because the watch head drags it towards the top. And as a result, the extended volume of the case is a magnet for door knocks. But the good thing is, the coating of the bezel feels to protect and stand pretty well against enemy surfaces. Another thing that I dislike is the poor ability to action the pushers. Because the outer case was increased, the pushers are pretty much buried on the case compared to the normal squares, and you have to use somehow the nails to reach them or to feel the center of the buttons to action them properly. And when you have to browse activities, start, stop, save or discard them, it's really a pain to use them. Now there is another annoying feeling which is following me since I pressed the blue button on eBay. Will this heart rate watch force me to replace my actual watches? 
because you see, that's the problem. Smart watches are good as long as they are worn. To collect sufficient and constant data to have charts and see progress, you have to wear them pretty much all the time. Which means my watches will cry on the table or in watch boxes, whispering me, pick me, pick me. This is exactly what happened a few years back. I was using a Garmin Phoenix Sapphire and in order to get data and accuracy, I was mentally forcing myself to wear it instead of my beloved G-Shocks. I sold the Phoenix, I wanted to enjoy G-Shocks, I said yes to horology. Luckily this model has a function to be set and worn like a regular G-Shock with the ability to disable the heart rate on demand so I don't see reasons not to use it as a regular G-Shock as well. So the watch will not be sold. This is my initial feedback in regard to this G-Shock Smart Square. But please let me know in the comments below what do you think about it. And as usual if you're new around please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time. Be brave, Bob. Stay safe.